the art of it all is how it makes people feel and that's something that's universal yeah, yeah. definitely that's the thing about art is it's how it makes people feel yeah feeling is the strongest the biggest target the strongest there's a saying that says people are going to forget what you said but are never going to forget how, how they felt them, yeah how you make yeah. them feel that is yeah. true how people feel is it's really like the main target can you dance funana yes i can it's in it's in my one of my last videos on instagram yeah let me see <laughs> it's chrome the one where i dance uh different thing oh yeah this funana in there in between, it starts at the end of the first part and then the first yeah here wait let me see but Which you can one? you can the the one where on the right this one yeah no yes this one you can switch it will start with funana yes hey That's funana? yeah all righty hey. so coupe i chose a big classic yeah i dance alone though but i know how to dance with a guy and this is loa hey <laughs> Okay, can we... Uh, wow. Can we... No way, Lord. I'm, I'm joining. I dance. stopped What's right it? before the... Uh, huh. And what is this? It's a... Uh, beat the Shebit. Beat the Shebit? What's that? That's that's Congolese music. That's Congolese dancing. It, isn't it from Ivory Coast? Okay. No, this... I think everything there's... is mixed. And this is Compa. Oh, yeah, Compa as well? The music of my life. Yes. A... But like, it's so awkward without the music. Yeah, there's a kind of A. So what is the difference between Kompa and Zouk in terms of dance? Um, you know what? I actually realized, I mean, I learned not too long ago that Kompa is very close to Kizomba technically because mm -hmm. I thought that Kompa was always uh, chest to chest, right? It was always closed. I thought it was that, so I I never thought there would be like steps and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And actually, I was shown uh, real compa dance videos, yeah. and compa is way more richer than we think. Yeah, yeah. So I would say that Zouk is more simple. Yeah. It's like some parts of compa. Yeah. Simplify. And and then they yeah. Then they start. The But main I, part of compa. I, I, I have still have to do my research, but I, I, I think that a lot of the, the Kizomba dance, other than the, the, the Semba uh, things that were added to it, a lot of it comes from Kompa, uh, the, the dance Definitely. as well. Because... The dance videos I saw, Haitians show, showed it to me, mm -hmm. uh, because I'm now in a music studio from a uh, Haitians artists mm. and they're actually working on some compa in the, in the room next door nice. and uh, they showed me um, real compa videos and I was blown away because if you take the music off and you put Kizomba on it it looks like any festival demo from him and her in this Kizomba Congress like it's crazy yeah, yeah. they the way they take the music is actually super close to Kizomba so I I wouldn't be surprised to mm -hmm. find out that Kizomba was very much inspired. I'm really going to do a whole video about this whole thing when I get I need yeah. to talk to a few a few elders and ask them yeah. like Me specific too, question I, about yeah. who made what when dates mm -hmm. who came where exactly. and how mm -hmm. everybody influenced themselves. Le I Kizomba, was told that Kompa arrived in uh, in uh, how do you say that French Caribbean? Comment tu dis les Antilles en anglais? Les Antilles, uh, what well, French Caribbean? French Caribbean, yeah. And then it gave birth to Zouk, and then Zouk with Kassav and also Eduardo Pain and yeah, yeah. stories in Angola. But there's also the the story with Cabo Verde, so we don't really really know. But no. I was told that, and I actually start almost all of my classes with Kompa. Mm. because and it wasn't 
on purpose because yeah. it was before knowing this whole story. Yeah. The classes I give to women because for me, compa music and compa dance, it's it really is the essence of this thing that we have in Kizomba, the way we move, the way we take the music, this, you know, the way you let go and you let your body express itself. Mm -hmm. I really, I always felt it, it was really strong in compa, so I always start all of my classes almost with compa, and you just freaking dance. And to me, this is how you get that move, you know. So I had already that feeling, and then I found out later that it was that the travel, the story was kind of this one. But I I talk with Eduardo Paim actually, uh, mm -hmm. and I was actually surprised that when he met me, he started speaking in French. I was like, what? I was like, what? You know, he's the one who gave me when I won uh, the World Championship of Africa Dansa in mm -hmm. in south in, in in the south of Portugal uh -huh. uh, five years ago. He is the one who gave me the the trophy. So I have wow. a photo where I'm like thanking him, like bending, and wow. he's like giving me the trophy, and he's nice. he's so sweet. And I had no idea he talked French, but I have a really good memory with him. So I arrive in. I arrived in C4 Pedro's uh, backstage yeah. after his big show he did like four years ago. And Eduardo mm -hmm. Paim was here uh, backstage. And so Eduardo was like, yo, uh, C4 was like, yo, you have to meet the, the creator of Kizomba. Big shout out to C4, by the way. Yeah, big shout out to C4, who will be our guest soon. Nice. And uh, I'm here and thank you, Matt Music. And I'm here, and so I'm I'm, I'm about to to speak Portuguese with with yeah. Eduardo Paim, and he's like, "Oh, Kesha, oh, je suis trop content de te rencontrer." And I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute, how you how you speak French? And he's like, "I'm Congolese." What? I'm like, what? Oh, and he's wow. like, yeah. His his family flew the war, yeah. the civil war of Congo that we okay. had in the nineties. He's there's a million of Congolese people who came down and run away, and they went to Angola. Angola. So a lot of them actually. The the there's a mixing of population in 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 Angola yes. that. True. There's a lot of Capvergians out there as well. Mm -hmm. Like Elijo was born in, in Angola. Wow. Uh, he's part of the, 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 the there's a big um, a Capvergian community in uh, Benguela. A lot of them actually are Capvergians. Um, wow. And a lot of people from the north, from Cabinda region, are all Bakongo because it's, it's Bakongo means down Congo. And a lot of them actually are mixed in population. They speak Lingala. And then in Rwanda, there's a huge Congolese community. And a lot of these artists is now the second or third generation. And of course, they are Angolans now, but their parents speak, speak Lingala. And wow. what Eduardo Paim told me was, oh, you yeah, know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, my parents were from Congo. And when I was a kid, I came to Angola. And and even the the, the president of of, uh, of Angola, the, the, the ex president, he was um, he used to, to he was a musician in in Congo. I have video, I have a wow. photo of him playing guitar the, on a in a Sukus band, and he lived he went to the university in Kinshasa back then. So our countries are intertwined, and yeah. he told me himself that. Uh, his, his, his inspiration for um, for 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 Kizomba, uh, some one of the inspiration was 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 listening to the music of Kasav and listening to Kompa. Yeah, Kasav and, made a and then, really big impression there. Exactly. Plus plus the the the, the Semba. Mm -hmm. You exactly. have Kizomba, and I had the same conversation with the mother of my son. Uh, her her uncle is Mika from Tabanka Jazz. The legendary group of uh, of uh, Guinea Bissau, and he was telling me the same thing. He was, oh, you know, we 
we were in Guinea and we were singing Kassav songs in weddings. And one day we just took one of, after learning to do their songs, we just did one song and we just put lyrics in Creole de Guinea. And, that, and, it's, and it's amazing because Tabanka means, it doesn't mean party, it means, um, I forgot what tabanka means. It's like uh, it's like zook. You know, zook is zook means party. Kizomba. I didn't kiz, know. Kizomba means. Mean, Zomba means party, but zook I didn't know. That's that's what's crazy. It's All crazy. these words they mean the same thing. That's oh. where it becomes interesting. Kizomba, a kizombada. It's a it's a party in the yeah. in the village, and zook is the same thing in in in, in the West Indies. I didn't Wow. And 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 uh, la a tabanka is more or less the same thing. Is I think it's a bar or a place where you dance. It's the same thing. It's just okay. different. And once you start, and the, what I think my problem with people is that nobody is taking the time to research and document the history. So, but after you talking can't... to Eduardo Paim, I was like, okay, I can do it. I can mm -hmm. do it because even if the, the inventor has the same blood as me exactly then and 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 what people also forget is that angola congo gabon cameroon all that was the bantu kingdom called the congo kingdom so yeah and and all the slaves uh, not all but part of the slaves i think 50 percent of the slave that came from to haiti they came from the Congo region as well. So yes. it's just a whole circle. Exactly. And, and I really, I, I've been telling this for probably f two months or three months now that I'm going to do a special episode of Club Shout Out where we just talk about this. But I really yeah. want to document myself and, you know, 